Cheers! The variety of ways that you can view and report data in ESGI reminds me of the variety of flavors found in this Zinfandel. This video will show how to run whole class reports in ESGI. First, choose all students on your class list and then visit the reports that are at the bottom of the report section. The first one we're going to talk about today is called the Class Totals Report. This report could show growth over time for your students. Across the top, you see the tests that are assigned to this subject tab, as well as an average percent correct column. Each one of these represents a marking period. B is the baseline score, the very first time the test was given, and each one of these columns will appear when you get to that marking period date. Let's look at our friend Emma here for her performance in uppercase letters. She got eight the first time she was tested and that set her baseline score. Then that eight moved to the next column and updated every time she was given the test. She finally landed on 18, the last day of the first marking period, and then that 18 moved over here and continually updated. She finally mastered uppercase letters in the second marking period and maintained the rest of the year. So you can see her growth over time. Now the way that teachers use this report could be for report card purposes by clicking on the current marking period. Also, teachers like to use it to sort students based on their average percent correct. That will allow them to make groups based on data. Watch the students on my class list as I click the last column header two times. My most proficient students have now risen to the top. So perhaps I will group together the first students here, the middle students, and the bottom students to make groups in my classroom. All reports in ESGI can be downloaded as a PDF or Excel. That is the class totals report. Next is called the class grades report. This looks like the class totals report, but it converts the raw score into your report card grade. You set this up either at the district level or at the teacher level to match your report card. This one is an OSN color coded but we can see that other grade scales look like this, four, three, two, one. Again, you can look at it as a whole or current marking period. That's the class grades. Now the item analysis is a favorite because it shows your least known item in the class, which will help you guide your instruction. This is an uppercase letters bar graph that you're looking at. The least known uppercase letter in this class is the letter N, and most students have mastered X and W. If you'd like to know who hasn't mastered something, you can simply click on these bars because it's interactive. For the letter N, these students got it correct, these students got it incorrect, and these students have not yet been tested. So if you're doing differentiated instruction for the letter N, you can call these students close on the carpet or do some special assignments with them. You can do that for any of the graphs here, any bars in the graph here, or you can download it to an Excel file, which each one of those will become a column in an Excel file, allowing you to filter and sort. That's the item analysis. The pie charts is a visual this is your whole class showing so you can see how your whole class is doing in the pie charts, or you can drill down to a student to get that same information. The last one is the untested students report. This is very handy for teachers at the end of a marking period. With all students chosen here, you can see the untested students shows those students who have been tested and those who have not been tested in a window that you set here. If it has a score, you're up to date. If it says run test, you simply can call the student over to the computer, click run test and get started with the test.
Those are the whole class reports, class totals, class grades, item analysis, pie charts, and the untested students. If you have any questions about whole class reports, please visit our support site. Thanks for joining me. And now, a little bit more about Zinfandel. The Zinfandel, or the Zin, has a variety of flavors like pepper and spice and leather. It sits nicely in a glass that looks like this. It pairs really well with any grilled meat like brisket or kebabs. Be sure to join us for the rest of the series. Cheers. <laughs>